as I mentioned in my last video, it's uh, I've missed the summertime. Um, it's now around um, sort of mid afternoon. It's currently three degrees. It was down to less than uh, well, it was down to zero overnight. Um, and so quite often, or in the past, I've had to use these um, to heat the garage. That's a couple of kilowatts, I think. 1200 watts. But if you're aware of the price of electricity in the UK, they're very expensive um, to run those. So it was my birthday a few days ago, so I talked my wife into buying one of these for me. So this is a, a diesel heater. Now there's loads and loads of videos on running these and yeah, there's no way I'm gonna do a good video like that. I'm just gonna put it together, make sure it works, um, and then I'm gonna fit it somewhere on the wall over there and have the heat blowing in this direct, you know, towards me standing here. Obviously I've got the, the bedstead cooler and pointing hot air at it, it's not a good idea, but um, the chance of me using the, um, on spraying when I've got the heating on at the same time is uh, unlikely. So, um, you know, it's probably gonna be spring time before I get to actually spray this, just purely because I won't be able to heat the room and the car and everything else. Unless, of course, this works really, really well. Um, maybe I buy two of them and then I can heat the area and spray it. So I'll put this together and uh, give you uh, some feedback on how it goes. So this is how I've ended up fitting the heater. It's uh, it's got a couple of uh, you know cheap old cheap old brackets. Um, it's got a bit of wood on here to make it a bit wider. Um, same on the other side. Uh, maybe we should. We did have some screws in there. Maybe I'll put a screw back in there. Um, it is. Um, I've got the air the inlet up here. The exhaust comes out there. Just goes behind this, these spare bits of metal. So exhaust comes out, comes out here, and it goes into a radiator, or, or a, what we call a towel rail. Um, Facebook Marketplace, just uh, 10 quid, a few fittings, these ones here, that's um, like, uh, it was actually a reducer 22 to 15, but the uh, this side of it um, screws straight in there. So that's it, obviously a couple of, uh, you've got a right angle here going through the wall. Um, you probably can't see it from here, but that's uh, certainly an angle this way, um, quite a steep, so any heat coming in, or any any gases come in go through here they sort of spread around this sort of area then come out down in this corner and like I say it's all at an angle so any moisture comes in and then it goes goes outside I have just turned it on it is fairly noisy you can hear that clicking of course from the the, the pump makes a bit of noise and it because it's just come on it's turned the fan on quite high It's only been on a, a moment or two. There is some warmth there, but uh, I can assure you, later on, you know, within five ten minutes, you cannot touch the top of this radiator. Yeah, that's that's quite quite hot to touch already. And as you can see from here, um, still not sure how to use the thing but 12 volts 18 degrees yeah see it's been on four minutes at the moment 
it will slow down in a sec. So within a few minutes that the top of the radiator gets very hot. So we're taking more heat out of the exhaust rather than just pumping it outside. So it's definitely the thing to do is to put some kind of radiator. You know, and that's only, like I say, that was 10 quid off Facebook Marketplace. And so, you know, even it only lasts a year. I'm just going to buy another one. You know, just look around. Um, obviously, maybe I should move back a bit from the noise. Um, I'll just show you what it looks like outside. You see, it's on uh, H1 because it was on H2 earlier, even though it was uh, like minus one outside. Um, I've, I did turn it down because it was uh, a bit too hot for me. So you can see this is it outside. Obviously, you will tidy that up. The uh, hole in the wall. Fill that in next to it, and it is. You can just about see some heat coming out of it. So yeah. So 11 minutes, it's, it's on H1, slowed down. That is like putting your hand in front of a, a very hot fan heater. Uh, and you can hear it going click, click, click. Just use the remote to turn it off. Slows down. It's still blowing slowly so yeah you need to leave it powered on so that it can cool down basically it's going to blow across the uh, the heating elements as it were the big aluminium fins and uh, cool it down I'm quite happy with it works fine a little bit noisy but apart from that it's fine that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.